Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unavowed. I am Minute to Midnight and we are going to jump right back in to this point and click adventure game in which I play a formerly possessed man who is now trying to figure out his way in the world really. He is working with a couple of co-workers and some other people and trying to figure out how he can stop evil from running rampant within New York City. Here are my two co-workers, Eli the Fire Mage, Mandana the Jin, a genie I guess, and we just met this guy. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. What's the story? Logan. It's good to see you again, Logan. Logan's a man from our previous life. He was a friend of ours. Then I killed his brother while I was possessed by a demon. So, but he seems to be okay with that because he knows I was possessed by a demon. I don't know. There's a couple. There's some weird stuff going on here. But hopefully, we'll be able to learn more when the. You know, once we're able to free him out of here, we'll find out what's going on. Well, let's say, uh, it's good to see you again, Logan. Right back at you. Who'd have thought we'd end up here? But we can catch up later. You know, after you save my butt. Right. Like I said, it depends. Usually we talk to them, convince them they are actually dead. Sometimes an object works, something that they are attached to, something that reminds them of who they are. Hmm. Believe me. Uh, could I? Give that to him? Oh. Oh. I know everything, Dana. That's crazy. You're crazy. I wouldn't do that. This man told me everything. What man? You. Hello again, Dana. But why? You're the one who told me to do it. Talking is one thing. Doing it is another. So this is referencing uh, her killing her roommate's dog crazy shit it wasn't just talk you gave me instructions a list of things to buy so you admit it you poisoned my dog you know what fine yes i killed your fucking dog it was destroying my gpa my sleep not to mention arabelle is that what this is about your little rag doll you promised to fix her months ago. She's been in your closet ever since, just collecting dust. So kick me out. Call the cops. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Whoa. The dead cry out for rev oh, I, I really don't have a choice here. Kill her, Jess. She deserves nothing less. Yes, Dana. You deserve to die for this. What? You killed my friend. I it was just a dog. G get a grip. You killed my friend. Oh. Murder by mental suggestion. A classic demon ploy if there ever was one. Even so, a murder should not create a poltergeist. More investigation is needed. Let's get back to it then. A murder shouldn't create a poltergeist. Anything out here we can look at or grab. Back of the house, maybe. Uh, 
Can I use the I failed to see the Good point. Maybe you should try. And the roses that bloom for your beloved shall be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left it behind. Do I have to dig this dog up? Hmm. Yes. You look kind of pale. Are you okay? I am adequate. You're adequate. What does that mean? The word is as close to the truth as I can get. I am part spirit, remember? Having those twisted spirits nearby, it is not pleasant. It is difficult, but I am managing. Hence, adequate. Please do not speak more of this. Why am I getting new visions all of a sudden? Those spirits, those poltergeists, they corrupt the spiritual energy around them. The results are often unpredictable. Your increased visions are perhaps one of them. The couple who lived here must have left something behind. Perhaps the master bedroom will shed some light? Mm. Naturally. Okay. What's up? You look kind of shaken up. We're in a house with geists. Of course I'm shaken up. Easy. Just be glad the bestower got here first. We wouldn't have stood a chance. We'd already be dead. Oh, no shit. I just hope it lasts long enough for us to fix it. Why am I getting new visions all of a sudden? A bunch of ghosts went geist. That's bound to stir up any spiritual energy around here. But on the list of potential bad things that could happen, more visions are at the very bottom. Oh, well, as long as they're only at the very bottom. Right with you. Let's go check out that master bedroom. Whoa. I... I've never done this before. Nothing like this before. I mean... I love my wife, I do, but... Having second thoughts? No, 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 I'm not. I've been unsure of many things, but not this. Why is that? Sometimes you need to capture a moment before it's gone. Yes, that's exactly it. And after tonight, you'll be gone, but I'll keep a memento, just like you asked. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's important to remember this. I have a hiding space in the garage. Nobody will ever find it under my heart rate. It will be for me and me alone. And you, if you ever come back. Just look in the mailbox. The garage opener is hidden in there, taped to the inside where it's hard to see. Now, where were we? Interesting. So I had a little fling with this guy's wife that's well yeah i did i you didn't do anything remember that what your demon did here was no accident it had a reason a maybe plan. my character's into it we need to learn what it was i'll process this later let's keep looking around take your time so my demon wanted to have a gay experience. What's the problem with that? Some clothes, a beat up. An old doll. Bana mentioned an old doll in my vision. Guess it can't hurt to grab it. Damn torn arm torn off. Can I get into that cabinet there? FG. Empty. Okay, let's go to the garage. Huh. Take to the side of a mailbox. Clever. Would never have seen it if we didn't know it was there. True, because I checked the garage or the mailbox last time. The device with a single button, the logo on the side reads Garage Mate. You sure there are batteries in that thing? No. Oh. Nope, I'm not, but I'm sure there are now. Under my heart rate is what he said. 
herb is the healing of the nation. Bob Marley. Sturdy garden shovel with earth still on the blade. I do gotta go dig up that dog. A license plate that reads art rate. Very clever. I don't think you're gonna pull that off with your bare hands. Uh, so we're just gathering stuff that the people want or that the poltergeist want. back there is something wrong there's a picture underneath the license plate take a look oh it is tastefully done <laughs> at the very least Montana really it is the truth <laughs> I was possessed I was possessed <laughs> It must be a nude picture of me. That's fucking crazy. Set it on fire, Eli, and then set the ashes on don't fire. Think that's a good idea. <laughs> this photo was hidden here for a reason. It could still prove useful. Uh, photo you're not looking at. A photo of yourself in art. You try not to look at it too closely. Uh, that's funny. Workman's vest. Okay. What's up? Right with. Yeah. You guys got anything no. to say? No. Okay. Let's go dig that dog up. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? Don't turn this around on me. You killed Dana. Turn it around. You slept with that man. <laughs> uh, you two obviously have some issues you need to work out. Issues. Up. We were fine until you came along. This is all your fault. His fault? Yes, I had an affair. I'm sorry, but you murdered Dana. He's got a point. She deserved it. She killed my Mary Jane. She also has a point. Jesus, are you even listening to yourself? Oh, so you can love your precious car, but loving my dog is crazy? No, murder is what's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Archie's crazy. She will kill you next. Kill her first. Jess, he betrayed you. He deserves to die for that. She's already murdered one person. What's another? You're right. You are so right. Hey, he seduced me. You didn't have to say yes. I don't want to do this, Jess. Oh, my God. Well, too fucking bad. The story grows grimmer with each telling. Hmm. What's up? Right. Uh. Oh, good. There's a collar. Just grab that, will ya? Foul smelling dirt. When we return home, I recommend you bathe immediately. Dirty dog collar. At least you hope that's dirty. What are you trying to? I don't know. I feel like I have to use that for something, but I don't know what. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I killed my wife. I cheated on her, and then I killed her. She would have killed you first. As a matter of fact, I told her to kill you first. She was so angry, and she did kill before. I am confused. So confused. I'm going to go sit in my car for a bit, try and think. Maybe I'll run the motor a little. Check if it's running okay. Could you make sure the garage door is closed? Sure. I know you love that car. Dude, this demon is fucking wild. What's up? Right with you. Yes. Not. His body's not still in the car. All right, let's head back upstairs. Let's go in here real quick too. Nothing else here. 
where Dana lived. What's the story? Um, Dana killed the Eddings dog. Seriously? Dana, this is true? Did you kill the family dog? Okay, okay. She's denying it. She's not lying. She was mentally forced into doing it. I Didn't see. Skip that. In that case, the best way to reach her is with something physical. Something she's got a strong attachment to. Ooh! There's got to be something like that around here somewhere. Uh, Jess killed Dana with a knife to avenge her dog. Jesus. Jess, is that true? You killed Dana because she killed your dog? I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay. Okay! Never mind. She's fine. She's denying all of it. She's saying her dog isn't dead. Do you have any evidence that the dog is dead? Something physical? Oh maybe boy, do like I. That, and maybe we can get through to her. Uh, Art uh, cheated on his wife. Did? Art, did you have an affair? Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Relax. I'm not accusing you of anything. He's denying it. He says he loves his wife. Be that as it may, we know the truth of it. Yep. He's not lying exactly. He's just confused. Death can cloud your memories. Put you in denial. We need something physical. Something more than words. Find something like that. Maybe we can get through to him. Like I said, usually we talk to them. Sometimes in... I didn't... Okay. Believe me. Alright, let's start. Uh, let's start with the doll. Um, a doll? Why are you showing me that? Blonde to Dana. An old toy. Let me see. Dana, is this yours? Arabelle, huh? It's a nice name. Oh, I see. Dogs will do that sometimes. I'm sorry. But why did you do that? There was no need for that. I... No, I can't judge you. That's not my department. If you really want to move on from this, you need to make it right. Asking forgiveness, yeah. Doesn't matter if you get it. It's just important you ask. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Yeah, just have a little think. That did it. She's aware. She's ready. Ready? Ready to move on. Once we calm down all three ghosts, KK and I can do our thing. But for now, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, uh, next up will be the dog collar. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> what are you showing me that for? It belonged to Jess's dog. They were very close. Hmm. That might work. Give it here. Jess, do you recognize this? Mary Jane. That was her name? Can you tell me about her? I... It, yeah. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Dana shouldn't have done that. But you can't do anything about it now. It's out of your control. You see that, right? That's it. That's it. I just need you to think about that for a bit, okay? Right. I think that did it. She's calm. She's ready. Just one more. All right. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> why are you showing this to me? Wait, is that art? <laughs> and the fair. He took this photo as a memento. Yeah. Yeah, this is proof, all right. But who's the other guy in the picture? He's kind of hard to make out. Uh, it was me. I was possessed. Let's leave it there. Right. Leaving it there. <laughs> Art, did you take this picture? I'm sorry, Art, but this is you. You can't deny it. Don't ask me why you did it. That's a question only you can answer. Good. Acceptance. That's the only way forward. I get you weren't in your right mind, but it still happened. It still matters. I don't judge you one way or the other. That's not my department. Just think about that. Can you do that for me? Please? There we go. Just hang tight, Art. And I'm sorry. I think that did it. He's ready. Okay, that's the last of them. Here goes everything. There. 
they're not attacking. Guys? Oh, thank God. KK, get in here. It's safe. God, it's good to see you. You've met everyone? This is Eli, that's Mandana, and that's... Wait, duh. You guys can't see KK, can you? Nope. Uh, we've sort of met. Nice to see you again, KK. <laughs> You're kind of facing the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> now she's on your other side. Now she's... KK, stop messing around. Anyway, there's just one <laughs> more thing I need to do. Then I'm going out to eat about a dozen steaks. Nice. Hey guys, Dana. This guy's Art, a real Jess, man. I want you to meet my friend. The name's KK. I know you all have had a rough few months, but it's almost over. Just take her hand, okay? One at a time. <laughs> I feel almost human again. Almost makes me never run. Yeah, you could talk to me, Logan. You always could. Never did it sober, though. It's different now. I would have died in there if you hadn't shown up. There's nothing, Logan. It's our job. That's not what I'm getting at. You guys, you do this all the time? More than we used to, for sure. I'd like to join you. KK, too, obviously. Is that possible? We don't want to be caught like that ever again. No Logan for years, I can vouch for him. To be fair, I wasn't exactly the same back in those days. You more than proved yourself, Logan. I welcome you. Father will not like it, but that can be dealt with. Um, why is that? He often says that death is part of the mundane world, and we should not get involved. But after what we saw tonight, perhaps we should review that sentiment. Sweet, I'm not the new kid anymore. Well, this new kid needs his beauty sleep. I'm dead on my feet. You have a place to stay, Logan? I've got a place in the neighborhood. Great. You go home and get some sleep. We'll meet up first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to it. What the hell is that? Anything new here? No. Hey, did you see a goddamn ghost? Please do not disturb those. It took sense. Oh, sorry. You are awake. Good. I have a question of a personal nature. I hope you'll answer it. Maybe I should have some coffee first. I have my reasons. Please indulge me. Our missions have taken a very personal nature, at least as far as you are concerned. These visions you have seen of your demon self, could you tell me how they make you feel? Uh, feel nothing, person, these visions, not me. I feel violated. I was forced to hurt people, do things I'd never do. I'm glad of them. Without them, we'd never know what the demon did. I'm honestly not sure what to think yet. Uh, I'm not going to really dodge the question. Um, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm glad of them. Without them, we'd never know what the demon did. I see. Pragmatism. That is often necessary, but rarely pleasant. Thank you for sharing. I will see you at the meeting. Talk a bit more first? We may. How's Logan fitting in? It was difficult for my father to accept a bestower, but he understands the necessity. I am certain Logan will prove himself, as you have. Me too. Did you see a little blue thing fly by? Yes, that would be KK, Logan's spirit guide. I admit, I was surprised to see her as well. Eli has a theory. He can explain it better than I. Why are you so curious about, curious to know how I feel? My concern is for your welfare. We must all watch out for each other, since nobody else will. Uh huh. One day, you will do the same for me. Any thoughts on the last mission? I confess. Putting lost souls to rest gave me a certain satisfaction. I can see the appeal in being a bestower, yet I am glad I am not one. Thank you. All right, I'll leave you to it. Let's go see what Eli's got. Reading again. Hey, shouldn't you get some sleep? We all need to be fresh tomorrow. What's tomorrow? 
Uh, it is tomorrow. It is? Jesus. I really should put a clock down here. You should. Are you reading anything interesting? Interesting is relative, but I'm looking for something useful. I was reading about ghosts, trying to learn more about the geists we saw. There must be millions of old texts and tomes on the subject. None of them have anything approaching solid facts. Still, there's got to be something, somewhere. Why are you so... Man, that sneeze caught me off guard. Quick, why are you so interested? Why do you think lost ghosts are turning geist on us? Easy. I really shouldn't let this stuff get to me. I've outlived a lot of people. I buried my wife over 60 years ago. Heck, my kids are in their 60s. I'm probably going to outlive them, too. And that's okay. I've made my peace with it. Geists? That their souls could be twisted like that? I don't like it. Not at all. You have a family? <laughs> People just blurt out their secrets to you, don't they? Must be a bartender thing. Must be. Anyway, sorry for the brooding. See you at the meeting? Uh, could you tell me about your family? You don't know many parents, do you? Never ask a dad about his kids. He won't shut up, but yeah. True. You probably saw the pictures on the wall. I have two girls. Julie and Gloria. Are they fire mages too? No. No, they aren't. Thank God for that. Must be cool having a fire mage for a dad. They don't exactly know about that. And they never will. They, uh, think I'm dead. Oh. They think you're dead? I faked my death. This power I have, when it manifested, it attracted... Things. Things that would have hurt my kids unless I died. So, I did. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That must have been hard. Yeah. Still is. What happened to your wife? Donna was young. 30, 31. It was cancer that took her. Seems so mundane, doesn't it? When I think about all the things I've seen since, just goes to show, you don't need magic or monsters for something to be terrible. True. So you raised your kids by yourself? Why is everyone always so surprised when they hear that? Yeah, I raised them both. Got them into a school near my office. We figured it out. What kind of things? Just things. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Julie and Gloria, tell me about them. <laughs> I did warn you about asking a dad about his kids, right? Well, here's the Cliff Notes version. Gloria married a realtor and moved to Florida. They're both retired now. Julie got bit by the wanderlust bug and hasn't let go. She hasn't settled down and probably never will. They turned out fine. Dad or no dad. You keep tabs on your kids? Once in a while. I might not be in their lives, but I'm still their father. What kind of dad would I be if I didn't watch out for them? True. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. Enough talking about the past. How's Logan fitting in? He's an impressive guy. He's been out there for almost a year, all by himself. I think he's finally happy to have some backup. Did you see a blue light fly by? Oh, that was KK. It turns out we can see her now. Sort of. We can all see KK now? How? because Logan's officially joined the Unavowed. All members of the Unavowed share a spiritual bond, albeit a slight one. Logan and KK have a strong spiritual bond. It's what enables him to see and speak to her. Now that we're all linked, we're getting some spillover, I guess. We can't speak to her, but we can kind of see her. Cool. Can I ask you about some of the pictures on your walls? Sure, I guess. Yep, that's Julie and Gloria. They look quite a bit different now. Obviously. Curious about the wedding picture. Well, I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. The cancer came about five years later. She was gone a few years after that. Wow. Sorry. Could we not talk about this? You got it, brother. Sure. Any thoughts on the last mission? Seeing those geists with my eyes was bad enough. But I can only imagine what Logan saw. 
Once upon a time, I wished I had a bestower's power. Not anymore. Right. All right, I now. will leave you to it. Hey, man. Hey, you're finally up. You guys keep some late hours around here. Although, you used to work some pretty late shifts at Sammy's, didn't you? Hours might be the same, but there are fewer glasses to wash up. And fewer bathrooms to mop. Jesus, Logan. What a stupid thing to say. <laughs> anyway, I was told there'd be a meeting <laughs> oh, or something. Yeah. Just let me know when it starts. Uh, I'd like to talk a bit first. I can do that. What are you doing with your phone? You ever hear of Trollgate? Some online game thing? KK is a little obsessed with it. Oh, don't deny it, KK. You totally are. You make me play this thing every chance we get. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Role playing a pink troll in a fairy tale land, zapping goblins with magic. Okay, okay. KK says they aren't goblins. They're called Quitikins. <laughs> such a nerd. What? You are. What? There's a ball of light next to you. That's no ball of light. That's KK. Seems you guys can see her. Eli was saying it was because we're all linked now or something. You'd have to ask him. I couldn't understand two words of it. Didn't seem that difficult. We talk about you? I suppose we did lose touch after I stopped coming to the bar, huh? I did miss you and Sammy. But I was kind of a mess back then, as you might remember. I remember several messes in the bathroom, I'll say that much. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. I was absolutely horrible, wasn't I? Both me and Jonah. Oh, I meant I'm still on the wagon, Jonah. though. I'm thankful for that. Thankful every day. I'm sorry about Jonah. I am too. Sorry that he's dead. Not about anything. You did. KK was there. She told me what happened. It wasn't your fault. For what it's worth, he didn't become a lost ghost. He's at peace. KK was there? In the bathroom with me and Jonah? Yeah. She was Jonah's spirit guide at the time. She tried to stop it, but... Sorry. Talking about this upsets her. Let's talk about something else. So you're still on the wagon? Yes, I am. Six years now. Hell Good yeah. Luck. One day more. How long have you been a bestower? About a year, give or take. One day, I got the worst headache of my life. Then KK appeared, and everything made a lot more sense. <laughs> Things made sense after KK appeared? Yeah, with Jonah, you know? He'd been acting strange for weeks, jumping at shadows, staring at stuff that wasn't there. I begged him to talk to me, but how could he? I wouldn't have believed him. You saw how he ended up. He just couldn't handle it. When he died, I inherited his gift. And KK. She explained everything. Jonah wasn't crazy. He never was. And accepting this gift, it's the only way I can honor him. So here we are. So aside from being of a story, you're mundane, like me. I was never anyone particularly special. And honestly, I'm still not. So am I mundane? Sure. Mundane is mud. Mud-dane. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk about something else. Can I ask you about KK? Is that okay? She says it's okay. Why does she bob up and down like that? She says she doesn't know, but honestly, I think she's messing with me. Why? Because you're always messing with me. What does KK look like? Oh yeah, you only see a ball of light, right? I see a little girl, about 10 years old. I, really? You sure it's okay? Well, okay. I have a picture on my phone of what she looked like, you know, when she was alive. She says it's cool if you want to see. I'd love to see the picture of KK. Sure. Here. Cute kid. She was so young. I know. She was 10. Just try not to make a big thing of it, okay? How did she die? Look, you never spoke to a ghost before, so you can't know this. You don't ask a ghost how they died. You just don't. It really upsets them. So... Let's not do that, okay? All right. Let's talk about something else. You got it. Any thoughts on the last mission? I think I'm just happy to walk more than two feet in any direction. I'm eager to move. You need me to run out for coffee or a pizza or anything? Just say the word. Man, this guy in food. All right. See, see you around, Logan. You too, KK. Now, where were we? All right. <laughs> this guy's going to be so Our mad. and spirit guy. In the unavowed hall. More evidence that times are changing. 
What do you have against bestowers? Nothing at all. It is their vocation I have issued with. Bestowers deal with death. Mundane, mortal death. It is messy, fraught with emotion, and rarely pleasant. But times are changing rapidly. We must adjust in kind. So, shall we start the meeting? Uh, call the meeting. Yes, it is time. So, you met the new guy? The bestower? Yes, I have. Did I read the report correctly? You battled three poltergeists for two days and survived. Um, I wouldn't call it battling. I just kind of sat there. <laughs> Regardless, anyone else entering that house would have been killed. You being there saved lives. Well, I was where I needed to be. That's all. No doubt. However, a poltergeist should never have formed in the first place, let alone three. How did this happen? Guess. It was my demon. Again. <sighs> of course it was. The demon turned the residents against each other, then encouraged them to kill each other. Somehow, in the midst of all that nasty, their souls got corrupted, made them go geist. But again, we return to our old question. Why? Why is the demon doing this? To what end? I admit, I am confused. Have you investigated Staten Island yet? No, nope. not yet. Then perhaps we will find our answers there. What about the ghost in the village eye? Yes, a witness, albeit an unconventional one. The bestower can speak to it, whereas we cannot. Look, if it has any information for us, I'll pass it along. But my priority is helping it. Naturally. You all know your duty. Report back when you have new information. Meeting adjourned. So, what do we do? Did he just... You get used to it. <laughs> the hour grows late, and the trail... Hey, we're ready. Anytime you're ready. Let's go, guys. They don't have Wi-Fi in the tunnels yet. Oh, no, sorry. Probably can only have two members. Huh? Um, KK wants me to turn on troll gate, but there's no signal down here. Let's kids and screens, right? Got to set limits. Let's say Logan and I don't know about that. Mandana. I figure if you die, you should be allowed to play as many video games as you want. To Staten Island or to the talk to the ghost. Lead the way. Logan? Jeez, where have you been? Uh... We missed you at the last few meetings. We've been worried. Dude, it's called Alcoholics Anonymous for a reason. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Whatever. I'll be at the next one. Promise. Gonna hold you to that. I say nothing. Move on. This is uh, not what I expected to see down here. Yeah, no kidding, man. Hello? Um, maybe cake? Hey, you look a bit lost. Maybe we can help. Hello? Who's there? Mandana, did you hear the ghost talk? Yes. Yes, I did. Perhaps some, what does he like call it? Psychic spillover? The bestower's membership in our ranks has some useful side benefits. Shh, shh. Let me work here. Uh, wh what's, what's going, what's going on? on? Who are, are you? you? I'm Logan Brown. This is KK. I don't know you. You don't know me. You shouldn't be here. We're here to help. We'd like to help you, if you'd let us. Get out of here. Get out of here before they come back. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. I'm sorry. You're lying. You're trying to make a fool of me. I'm not. I swear I'm not. You need to leave this place. What's your name? Maybe if you told us your name, I could help you. I told you. You don't know me. I don't know you. Let's keep it that way. You're dead. Look, I hate to be blunt, but you're dead. 
Your body is right over there. No. This is a place of life, of healing. Take your lies and go. I know, KK. That never works. I don't know how to get through to this guy. I say we leave it for now. Don't we have Staten Island to check out? Maybe we'll figure it out by the time we're done. Okay. So you really never worked with a bestower like me before. I'm taking these two, though. They know their shit. Hey, it's Staten Island Ferry. All right, and I think that's going to be the end of this episode. We picked up Logan. We finished up his okay. first. Uh, Lowlands away, isn't it? This guy's got to talk right over the top of me. Yes, an old shanty. I guess I'll let Being them finish first. Just reminds me of younger days. Well, don't let me stop you. We could use a bit of cheer on a dreary night like this. No, I shall not lose myself in the past. Let us proceed. That's cool that, like, her past includes sea shanties. So anyway, this will be the end of this episode. Um, thank you, everyone that's watching or that has watched. Um, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. I look forward to, keep, to continue playing this. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so until next time, I am out of here.